Hey guys, it's Robbie with SideQuest Fitness giving you some wrist curl exercises you can do to keep your wrists, forearms, and fingers strong while you gain. All right, so the first one we're gonna start with, I'm gonna straddle the bench here so you can see from the side so you can get a good view. We're gonna do the prone wrist curl, prone like in Call of Duty, so your palm is facing down towards the floor. All right, so we grab our five pound dumbbell. You don't need heavy dumbbells here. Five to 10 pounds uh, is really all you need because we're gonna be doing a lot of reps uh, and we don't need a lot of weight. All right, so you're gonna take your wrist, let it dangle off the end of your knee and you're just flexing and extending the wrist up and down. Then of course, switch sides up down, flexing and extending. And that's the prone wrist curl. We're gonna flip our hands over to where our hand is supinated. Supinated is, I like to think of it as you're waiting for someone to hand you supper. So someone's putting food in your hand, supinated. Uh, so your hand is up like this. Very similar to when you do like a dumbbell curl. But this time, your wrist is gonna be hanging off the knee and we're flexing and extending our wrists here. Again, on the other side, ideally for prone or supinated, you really only want to do about 10 to 12 reps. Uh, three to four sets is really all you need, uh, but just really focus on flexing, extending, flexing, extending. This is working your forearms, your wrists, uh, and your fingers are getting a little work by gripping the dumbbell. I totally forgot to film this while filming at the gym, so I'm gonna to have to show you this exercise in my house. So here's what you're gonna do. Uh, this is the pronated to supinated wrist rotation. Uh, so you're gonna hold the dumbbell over the edge of your knee, just like you're, you're doing the curl, and all you're doing is rotating your wrist back and forth, one side to the other, switch hands, a little work with the bicep here, you can see that activating. Uh, and that's just getting your wrist stronger in the rotating. Because uh, you know you're going to do that. You're going to be playing games and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. You're going to tweak uh, those, those tendons and muscles there which are already going to be stiff while gaming. So The final dumbbell uh, wrist exercise I'm going to show you is the hammer grip wrist curl. This one you need to let your wrist go a little further out. So instead of your wrist being just over the edge of your knee, you want it to go further out. If you do it just over the edge, you're not getting a full range of motion. So about a quarter of the way down your, your forearm, hold the top of the dumbbell and just flex and extend, flex and extend. Same on the other side, same idea. 10, 12 reps, and that is really all you need to do. You can also do these with a barbell, however, however, please listen to me when I tell you this. Supinated is so much easier to do with a barbell because you have probably got more strength uh, going this way because you're doing curls that way, you're doing chin-ups. Uh, this way, however, is a lot heavier If you're gonna do uh, prone wrist curls with a barbell, get an easy bar that's like 10 to uh, 20 pounds and, and do those. Don't grab a 45 pound barbell and try and do prone wrist curls. It's, you, you're not gonna get much range of motion because you're just not gonna be strong enough. It's, it's pretty difficult. Besides that, there are some great things you can do at home. You can click the link here to check out how you can do wrist curls at home with some equipment you might more than likely probably have in your home. Uh, that way, if you don't go to the gym or you don't want to buy weights, you can still strengthen your wrist, your forearms, and your fingers this fall so that you can keep gaming for hours and hours.